In Sidney Lanier's The Boy's King Arthur, Sir Thomas Mallory's History of King Arthur and His Knights of the Round Table, the author presents a retelling of Sir Thomas Mallory's classic work, skillfully adapting the tales of King Arthur and his knights for a younger audience. Lanier's adaptation not only preserves the essence of Mallory's original but also infuses it with a narrative style that captivates and engages young readers. At its core, The Boy's King Arthur serves as a gateway for children into the rich and complex world of Arthurian legend. Lanier's language is accessible yet retains the poetic and archaic elements that characterize Mallory's work. This delicate balance allows young readers to grasp the essence of the Arthurian tales without being overwhelmed by the intricacies of medieval language and syntax. Lanier's mastery of language is evident in his ability to convey the grandeur and chivalry of the Arthurian world while ensuring clarity and comprehension for his target audience. The narrative structure of the book follows the traditional trajectory of King Arthur's life, from his legendary conception to his ultimate demise. Lanier weaves together the various episodes and adventures of Arthur and his knights, creating a cohesive and engaging storyline. The episodic nature of the narrative is a nod to Mallory's original work, emphasizing the diverse adventures and challenges faced by the Knights of the Round Table. One notable aspect of Lanier's adaptation is his emphasis on the moral and ethical dimensions of the Arthurian legend. The chivalric code, with its emphasis on honor, loyalty, and courage, is a central theme throughout the book. Lanier takes care to highlight the virtues of each knight and the consequences of their actions, providing young readers with valuable lessons in morality. Through the adventures of Sir Lancelot, Sir Gawain, and others, Lanier underscores the importance of integrity in the high cost of betraying one's principles. Lanier's portrayal of King Arthur himself is particularly noteworthy. The legendary king is depicted not only as a powerful and wise ruler but also as a compassionate and just leader. Arthur's commitment to justice and his efforts to create a realm based on equality and fairness serve as an inspirational model for young readers. In this way, The Boy's King Arthur becomes more than a collection of fantastical tales, it becomes a moral guide, encouraging children to aspire to the noble ideals exemplified by Arthur and his knights. The language and imagery employed by Lanier contribute significantly to the immersive quality of the narrative. Descriptions of justs, quests, and magical encounters are vivid and evocative, transporting readers to a world of knights in shining armor and mystical enchantments. Lanier's poetic sensibility enhances the sense of wonder and adventure, making the tales of King Arthur come alive on the pages of the book. In conclusion, Sidney Lanier's The Boy's King Arthur stands as a masterful adaptation of Sir Thomas Mallory's classic tales. Through a judicious blend of language, structure, and thematic emphasis, Lanier succeeds in bringing the Arthurian legend to a younger audience without sacrificing its depth and complexity. The book not only entertains but also educates, imparting moral lessons and fostering a love for the timeless tales of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table.